I may file a report with uh, the Gort OSHA about that bridge. I was right about here, at like in the middle of this, walking through here, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I probably should have brought rockets. Uh, and then all of a sudden my hand went whoop, and off down there we went. And then I was like, I'll be fine. And then I realized very slowly, I won't be fine. And then I logged out. Uh, so yeah, a deposit into the rusty banking um, would be great. It could be worse. <laughs> you could have also lost your hoe. I know. We just need mending on all of our stuff. Uh, but I'm going to try and play a little bit of a reverse prank. So we're going to do... One, two, three, four, dirt, one, two, and then I think a third one. Okay, so from far away, it doesn't look half bad. It's, it's mostly just a joke. Okay, so otherwise I would actually work on something legit here. They're not, it's special. It's a hot summer day at uh, Curtis's place. Very warm. Now, Curtis, I don't know why you would grow a wheat field around palm trees with coconuts, but I'm not going to question you. In my hands, I hold a pufferfish named Larry. Now, he's not really named, except that Lost Midgen decided to put him as a prank in my home right here now of course i could be very very mean to larry i could throw larry in a fire uh eat larry i could do all sorts of mean things to larry if you want me to save larry in the comments type in hashtag save larry if you want me to instead do something nefarious with larry then type in the comments hashtag who's larry so I've been collecting some shroom light and uh, I found this beautiful little bastion. Now, I can one shot these guys, but even still, gotta be careful. I wanted to pop in here and see what I could find. Oh, we got pig step and some gilded blackstone I'll take. Well, I got good news. Curtis made a donation to our science foundation. And this will allow me to complete the beacon in our hospital, medical lab thing. That's actually not bad. That's pretty centered. I like that, actually. That gives us a really good base to work from. Uh, we've got basically this outcropping, and then we can kind of mostly just shape this finally back in business like this did i not i don't think i put glass up there we're gonna need to figure that out uh okay so now with this and this we can go ahead and do regeneration and haste I'm looking at pictures for a medical lab. Uh, I have worked in a few of them actually, so I know a little bit about what that looks like. But a lot of the medical lab technology is pretty much white and sterile. Uh, the ones I went to though uh, had pretty dim lighting. Um, and they had a lot of like off yellow colors as well. So we could use uh, white stained terracotta. Start off with a couple pieces of bone blocks. And then I'm gonna do something like this. And then we're gonna have uh, that, that, this, this. And basically, this right here reminds me of what you would call a hood. Now, technically speaking, there would be like a little slider that would slide down. You'd keep your hands in here and then you'd have a button to turn some airflow on so that it would go up and out. And uh, that way 
we've got a place to start doing a little bit of brewing. All right, now down here, look at this lighting. Not too bright, but also not too uh, dark. Um, when you're working, at least when I worked in a lab, you could sometimes be not in the most bright of places. Um, and the reason for that is uh, sometimes the environment needs to be a little bit darker to protect what you're researching. So, boom, I switched it out with dripstone. This thing is actually filling up pretty quick. I don't have a bottle to test with, uh, but I need to go get some wood. Uh, and I'm thinking if we place another one here with uh, two other hoods, then we'll be good to go. Someone is in my base. Okay, it's coming from over here. <coughs> oh, it's, it's uh, we're very close. I have this song. Bye, you were never here. No, that's the, that's the wrong one. All right, so I have been in here for quite a bit now, uh, doing a couple things, little couple different processes, and um, been doing some thinking about how I can make this uh, a little bit more organized in here. Instead of doing those cabinets with the glass on them, uh, I thought I'd do this and later on we're just gonna switch the glass out with mangrove because it has like a little glass center. I'm going to be giving pretty much all of these areas here uh, the different parts that they need for all of the different things that they're gonna have. So this one's night vision, healing, fire resistance, and then we've got enough for two other potions. Uh, do we still have the brewing? Yes we do. Okay. So I want to do a couple different things here, like slow falling. I want to do water breathing. Um, of course, I'd like to do some more of the healing with the uh, gas tier here. We're going to sell these at the shop and allow other people to make their own decisions on what they want to do. Believe it or not, making every single potion in the game is not actually all that easy. Here at the gas farm that Curtis set up, I was able to grab a whole ton of gas tiers. I tried to leave a little bit behind because I think there were four left in each chest. But then I needed to go and get myself other ingredients that I didn't have. That brought me to getting fish. Now, fish of course isn't an ingredient except the water breathing potion. So why was I killing all of these poor little cod? Because what I needed was a cat. I traveled far and wide and finally I settled on this little guy right here. And after I tamed him, he was being very, very naughty trying to get him actually over to the bed and on top of the hopper. But the reason why we need to do this is because when we sleep, we have a small chance that he gives us a rabbit's foot or an even smaller chance of a phantom membrane. Then of course, finally, I needed to get the water breathing potion. This is gonna take me a while probably, uh, but I was not going to settle for anything less and I finally caught a puffer fish. Okay, finally, potion of leaping. Throw this in here, take out the sign. What? Oh, I guess. In my inventory leaping all right cool so now our inventory is finally complete and all we need to do now is check our custom orders okay nothing all we need to do now is just head out over this way 
and get ourselves some more rockets. It, during the day, I'm going to be fishing for a lot of puffer fish. It means I'm going to get some, uh, also a lot of unwanted items, so I might try and sell those, turn a quick profit. Uh, but during the night time, I'm going to go to sleep with my little kitty, and hopefully, if we're lucky, we won't just get little rabbit's foot, but the little rabbit's feet. But we will maybe also get a bunch of wonderful uh, other loot, like phantom membranes. But nevertheless, one of the things that we need to do is name our kitty. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Uh, whatever you guys name it, I will pick whoever I think is the best commenter's name and name the kitty that. But I think today was pretty successful, and if you did too, make sure to check out the video on screen right now. YouTube thinks that you're going to enjoy it. Uh, let's see if they're right.